Hello everybody, it's Lucas McIntosh here and I'm back with some more Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories for the PlayStation 2. In this next set of videos we are going to be visiting Tony's mother again. Uh, Tony and his mother have quite a volatile relationship. Tony loves his mother. Um, it's very, very clear that he does. But no matter what he does for her, she's just not impressed. So she gives him basically a load of missions to do one after the other, saying that basically if he does these missions then she would be proud of him but there's just no pleasing her uh, we have to destroy some triads uh, in Chinatown we have to take part in an illegal race we have to kill Kassa the guy from the deli and we also have to try to kill Mars Hitman because she's she actually goes to the trouble of putting out a hit on her own son it's really really funny and it's literally my favorite part of the game those exchanges between Tony and his mother because he's like ma I'll do anything for you and she's just like not happy whatsoever so here we go guys we're gonna get into the action and head back into Liberty City so I'm quite pleased because I'm actually able to show off the intro to this game um, I actually brought another cheap copy and uh, not just purely for the intro but I always buy spares anyway just in case the other disc gets a bit damaged or something because I did notice some scratches on it so I picked it up again uh, and I put the intro in this time because in my last was it my last couple of videos or the very first video it, I just put a thumbnail in which still looked cool but I wanted to kind of show off the intro so here we are guys in the apartment we're now going to leave and we're going to see Tony's mother and try and get the first mission um, out of the way so I've been doing this bit by bit I did all the Vincenzo missions um, now once I do all the Mar missions then I can move on to the next place on the map and try and work my way up the rankings as well um, once again, I'm really, really enjoying this game. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm really getting into the missions. Um, I'm finding it a lot of fun. I think the most difficult uh, part I've had with this is literally the Casa mission, having to chase him down because he's quite agile and he's very difficult to to kill. So here we go. The first mission for Mar. Big Rumble in Little China. Speak to me. You know my hippie, you no know more, you coward. You can't fool me. I know why you don't move back in here. You're running scared of some triad. Your father, God rest his soul, wouldn't let no one run him out of his own home. Mama. But unlike you, your father wasn't yellow. Until the Troyes show you some respect, you're no son of mine. A daughter, maybe, but not a son. Yeah, and the best part is you never see Tony's mother as well. She's always kind of out of shot or she's just speaking from a window. We have to go downtown now to Chinatown, uh, get rid of some triads. This mission's a lot of fun. Um, basically we have to take out a triad van, um, a few triad men who are in the van and then there's a, like a little triad gang around the corner. So what I need is a massive vehicle, basically, so I can ram the fish van. So I'm going to try and get hold of this one. I just like the, um, the name of the mission, Big Rumble in Little China, because Big Trouble in Little China is one of my favourite films of all time. So I thought what better way to celebrate it than to use a truck, basically. A nice big flatbed truck, because Jack Burton in Big Trouble in Little China used a truck, basically. Uh, it's just a fantastic film from the 80s. I just remember us renting it multiple times from the video shop, and it was always on TV. It's definitely one of my favourite films of all time. Right, so we're going to pop into Chinatown this way. And there's two red dots on the map you can see. One of them is the van we have to ram. The other is the gang. So I think you can take out either. But it does sort of say you need to do the van first. Once you've got a large vehicle, it makes taking out their, their van really simple. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, trying to hit it multiple times. As long as you hit it enough times, you've got the power and the force. It will explode, basically. And look at that. This is new in this game. Um, boxes are dropping from it to try and stop you so we just gotta ram it enough times see that they're getting out now 
So all we've got to do now is just chase him down and run him over. Well, there's one. I don't know if there's another one though. Boom, there we go. So I've just got to back up. I've got to find... Where is he? There he is. So he's coming for me. He's quite brave. Right. I think that's it now. So now we've got to deal with the other gang. And the other gang are literally um, just around the corner. So I need to get my gun out. I wish I had a more powerful weapon. Oh. What really annoys me is that the police are on my back as well. So this mission is really difficult now because the AI of the police has been increased in this game. All I want to do is do the mission, but um, yeah, I've got this guy just trying to knock me with his chungeon. Or his nightstick, it's just really annoying. So, oh, see that? So my main kind of aim is just to get rid of the gang. If I can just get rid of the gang and like... Even if I get arrested after the gang, then at least I've done the mission. I just find it a little bit awkward trying to kill the gang when I've got a policeman on me. I did. I really should have just drove around and got rid of him. But I was just so desperate to get it done. Here we go. So we go down this corner. There's gang members down here. So I'm trying to get a shot, but this policeman is just... He's spoiling it for me. I'm just trying to get rid of them. I'm trying to back off as well, and it's not always easy because, like, they're quite fast... If I can just get this Chinese guy, if I can just get the triad, then that would be good. If I can just... Come on. I got him. Passed the mission. I just passed the mission, and I got wasted. So there you go, guys. I lost all my energy and stuff, but I did the mission. So, yeah, it's kind of awkward when you've got the cop chasing you. Um, we get taken to the hospital. But... That's done, so we're going to go back to the save house and uh, we're going to save the game. Because I always do this after every mission, save the game. Um, I just don't want to have to do the same sort of missions again and stuff. Just in case there's a power cut or anything like that. Alright, so that's one mission done i think the next one is the race um that one's pretty good uh really enjoyable just got a race around liberty city and then once you do it you can actually um go for more races okay so let's let's do this all right where am i going Ah, oh, the ammunition shop. Yes, that's right. I need to restock. And what it's really kind of frustrating at the moment because the gun I want is just not available. So there's only the pistol. I think the higher up the rankings you get, the more decent weapons you'll be able to buy. The pistol's okay, but you can tell it's really kind of a, a weak weapon. So you need something with a little bit of power. Unfortunately, um, when it comes to fighting Mars Hitmen, um, I'm going to do most of my fighting from the car, just try and run them down because uh, their guns will just eat into my health and I will stand no chance. Plus, they can also uh, blow up your car in a matter of uh, seconds, so you just need to be really, really careful on that mission. Still, let's head over to St. Mark's and just save the game. Oh, for God's sake, get out of the way. hope you guys are all right anyway wherever you are thank you so much for taking the time to watch my uh, gta liberty city stories let's play i uh, really appreciate it let me know what you think of the game your favorite gta memories from any game i'd love to hear what you guys think of the franchise in general okay so let's pop out the car and we will pop into the yellow marker right i don't know why it kind of looks a little bit misty for some reason in his apartment. I don't know why that is. But well, that's okay. I mean, at least it works. So it's a small price to pay. So we'll save the game. It's quite handy, really, because uh, Tony's Ma only lives around the corner. So if I fail a mission, it's not too bad. And as I said, what I love about this game is if you fail a mission, there's a taxi which will take you uh, back to the mission marker. So you can just do it again almost instantly. So that, in my opinion, was a really good move. Alright, I just need a car now. So we'll just take this one. 
I mean, I've mentioned this before, but the city looks absolutely breathtaking. It's so beautiful. I'm going to pop this way. And we'll go this way. And here we are. Back to Mars. Looks like she's got a visitor. Okay, so now she says that Tony, to prove himself as a real man, has to take part in an illegal race against uh, one of her favourite guys, essentially. So that's what we're going to do. This mission's really, really easy. Um, I think the hardest thing I found, I didn't even realise, is that when you hit the checkpoints, um, there's an arrow which tells you which way to go, and I didn't see it at first. So I kind of slip into third, kind of in the middle of the race, because I didn't see where the arrow was but I kind of clicked in you know I kind of sort of I want to say about three quarters of the way for the race figured it out and was able to uh, to do it so here we go first time as well as I said it's not too difficult you just gotta basically come first and overtake the competition okay I'm second place first place It's just a case of just following the markers, so just follow where they are, and the arrow tells you where to go. Um, I, again, I don't see it at first, so I'm just like trying to figure it out. You know, I, I just kind of think they're random, and I keep looking at the map, but um, they do form a sequence. It's not that way anyway. I just there it is. I think that's the one I want. See, I can't find it now. I'm like it's. It's, to, it's down the end and this is where I start to lose it you know but don't worry I don't lose it for very long alright see there it is there's the marker alright if I can get the other one so I decide that you know it's best just to follow the uh, best to follow the other vehicles because if I go around in a circle it's not going to do me very good okay here we go. Alright, there we go. So I'm almost back in first place. Just got to get that idiot out of the way. There we go. So just rammed him, made him turn around. Yeah, so I, you can see it's telling you which way to go. So you just got to follow the arrows. It's that simple, really. It's not, it's not as hard as I thought it would be. There we go. Alright left turn there we go oh for god's sake so he kind of overtakes towards the end so you've got to just watch it there we go I think there's like a couple more oh last one now just get into the marker boom there you go guys first place now all I've got to do is uh, defeat him I've just got to ram his car now. Now this is really cool because um, Rockstar have like fixed the AI of the car, so now they're not so kind of perfect. So they will actually have accidents. So it's more kind of realistic. So he kind of stuffs himself up in a way. So I don't really have to do a lot. I ram him, but he drives so fast he kind of tips himself upside down. So that was a really good move in my opinion by Rockstar to do that. Because in GTA 3, 
when you're chasing. There you are, see that? I ram him anyway and just help him a little bit. His car starts to blow up. So now I've just got to get to him and run him down. Goodbye, Sanchez, or whatever your name is. You're dead. There we go. We've got $1,000, so hopefully that will make Mar proud, but I don't think it will. <laughs> so that's two missions done. So let's just head back to the save room and save the game. Okay, we'll go this way. I'm loving it. This is absolutely brilliant. I'm, I think the mission structure is absolutely uh, really well done. You know, and obviously because I played GJ3, I'm kind of familiar with the streets and everything. So, oh, just get out of the way. I will say that there's more cars trying to cause you harm in this game, though. Right, back to my apartment. It is a bit annoying, guys, but it's what I do every time because I don't want to have to repeat missions. So let's just save the game. I always kind of get this bit mixed up, though, as to where I'm supposed to go. I get a bit kind of, you know, lost. I know it's only a small area, but it's a little bit too close up. It can be hard to see where you're supposed to go. Okay, so let's head back to Mars. There's only two more missions to do now anyway. Right, once we've done these, all these missions, we can move on, essentially. But I thought I'd get these out of the way. Oh, my car is knackered. I need a new one. All that racing has just uh, worn it out, to be honest. All right, let's head back to Mars. Okay. Oh. Right. Dead meat. 